The Canadian Border Service Agency in Asuyas has been busy. Ever since 2013, we've seized 214 guns. Detecting illegal firearms has become a big job. Most of the time, it's people who don't think about Canadian laws or forget they're carrying. Anything that is prohibited, as you can see here, we've got uh, mostly handguns, uh, as well as uh, we've brought out some tasers. Uh, there's a, uh, a blow gun there as well, things that we don't allow into Canada. Sometimes, though, guns are deliberately hidden, like these two handguns found tucked inside pairs of socks. Travelers do not, who do not declare firearms in their possession may have their firearms seized, face criminal prosecution, or be deemed inadmissible from entering Canada. The border guards have plenty of help with their searches. This is Roca, who has been on the job for over a year sniffing out contraband. Strange, she's a passive indication uh, dog, so an active dog would scratch at the item but she indicates passively by sitting after smelling at source. But don't be fooled by how cute she is. This pup is highly trained in the detection of nine different specific narcotic and gun-related scents. Guns are, are, are a, uh, a bit of a fickle thing to train with because you, you're always changing the, the scent to get it down to the base odor. Um, so you, you, we'll go and we'll fire the gun and then we'll hide the gun after it's fired. We'll clean the gun and then we'll hide it after it's cleaned. Dogs and officers alike will stay on the lookout for guns, as well as marijuana, which will not be legal to transport internationally even after Canadian legalization. For Castanet News in Asuyas, I'm Chelsea Powery.